I mean, it means, it means a lot for me personally because you know, I was here when we was last on the total pole and you know talked about it. And, you know, you know, so it means a lot just to be able to come out here and get two two years in a row. You know, um, it's big. Defensive effort mean in the second half? I mean, a lot. It just show you we could do it no matter who we playing against, as long as we lock in, stay focused, and you know, put the effort out there. You know, we can score the basketball. It's just a matter, a matter of us just locking down late in the late game, especially in the fourth quarter. How much of a boost did James give you guys when he came in in the first half when you were trailing? Uh, James always come in because he, one thing about James, he try to make make up for other people's mistakes too, and he all over the floor. And you know, you gotta give him credit because he he loved being over the floor, helping everybody who out there doing whatever it takes for us to you know win. And you know that's what's great when he out there on the floor because he's gonna try to do it all. Do you feel the energy level raised with everybody sorry, when he comes on the floor? Yeah, yeah, for sure because you know he's gonna be everywhere. You know he he go out there talking and you know he always gonna do something that gets you going. If it's a block, if it's steal, if it's you know if him going to the basket, you know, um, definitely athletic, especially with how big he is. You mentioned uh, trying to make up for everyone else's mistakes. Uh, those sort of chances defensively, not just for James but for yeah. the team. Is that something that coach tries to sort of rein in a little bit? Yeah, 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 yeah. Just don't gamble too much. It kind of puts the next next man in an awkward situation, and you know. Whether to help or you know crack down, whatever it may be, it could be a chain reaction. That's why we gotta stay disciplined a lot of times, and you know, um, we, it's gonna happen sometimes where we, you know, somebody like James will come in and try to make up for somebody getting blown by. He go for the block, and you know, it put us in rotation. So we just gotta be conscious of that. As you mentioned this morning, you guys have sort of hit a rough patch lately. Is it nice to have something tangible to celebrate? Oh uh, yeah, yeah. Like I think I said last game, all we need is something. That get us back going and put us back in the right mood, and you know, just knowing we clinched the division, one of our division again, this this could be the thing that could you know push us over the hump and give us what we need again and get our swag back. That's all it is, and you know, once we get back on track, we're gonna be right where we left off at. When Kyle's not playing, do you naturally look to be more of a distributor? Or is that yeah, yeah, cause I know the attention all gonna come to me, and you know, just me. I always watch a film and understanding how to get my teammates involved, especially when I draw so much attention. You know, um, I try not to worry about scoring so much unless the team really need me, and I just try to create for everybody else and help help us get teams in rotation by by me moving the ball or my, by me getting in the paint and kicking it out. What was on your mind when you missed that tough attempt when you came back to the bench? You had that smile on. Uh, I felt like I was 20 again. Yeah. Yeah, but. Uh, it was just fun. Just trying to little stuff like that, you know, we always trying to do to try to get us going and you know, if we could laugh about it, smile about it, I think that's a positive thing. Demar, is it a little extra special for you to, to get this done tonight in a game against Los Angeles? You know people back home are watching you achieve this. I mean, I don't know. I think I got past that my first couple of years in the league. I used to be excited playing against, you know, the LA team. You know, so my family back home to see, but I wouldn't even think about that tonight, honestly. Um just try to go out there and get a win for us. And you know, um, move on to the next one. How does it feel in comparison to last year? Um, I think last year was so unexpected. You know, we never looked at it as we can win our division. We probably wouldn't pick to win our division. So all the odds was against us. So you know, this time around, the start that we had on top of all the other teams that's in the division, you know, we we kind of was expected to win it. So you know, it's kind of different, but it it still means a lot. Is there a sense that, you know, that in terms of uh, meeting your own expectations, the real work is sort of still ahead of you? This is oh, yeah, yeah. this of yourself. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So, you know, it's a lot more we, we need to do, you know, um, get in the playoffs, you know, win games in the playoffs, look forward, keep moving forward, and not just think, you know, one game or one round, you know, keep moving forward. Thanks, Mark. Well, congrats. Congratulations. Thanks.